Hi humans, I'm Sewer People and welcome to Alcaris Complex. I don't know what this is, it's an indie game on itch. The exercise of power in whatever role is one of the most personal forms of individual self-expression. Thomas Nigel. Nagel? It's definitely not Nigel. Over the cor- welcome. Over the course of your journey, tutorial tiles will pop up. Oh word, this is for me, not for you. Oh god, that's dark. Okay. Can I talk to you? Hello! We need this little operation to go off without a hitch, right? We can't mess up. The boss will kill us. So that guy's over there. That cheese hound. He might have a good task for you at some OP time. What the fuck is this game? Okay. Let's go over there then, yeah? Hello. You the new guy? Nice to meet you. I guess. Got some stuff for you. Can you, uh... I'll take care of it. It's not you. It's just Vulpus really needs to stay in his lane. Anyway, you see the girl over there? The one who looks like she's throwing a costume party. We call her Blast Monkey because she's always blowing stuff up. Run this bag over to her. Uh, okay. A uh, Blast Monkey? I feel bad calling you that. Ah, the conduction powder. Thanks. Oh, don't worry about them. They're just not used to you. Recruits tend to come and go, so they've just adopted somewhat of an ill attitude. Uh, okay. So where are you from? Oh, jeez. Grafton, Regast, or Lismore. I'm going to say Grafton. This is the only place I can fucking pronounce. I've been pestering the old man over there to move there with me and settle so I can quit blowing concrete out of the walls for a living. I'd rather not talk about it right now, though. Okay. Time to do this. See the guy over there messing around? No, no, they've been flint hoof. Here, string this over to him. Advice for you. Oh, got in yesterday. Stay on Blast Monkey's good side. She can be a real bitch when she starts to be. When she wants to be. What the fuck? I can't read. How do I get over you? Oh. Hello. Give me those cherries. So why are you even here? Don't tell me it's for the cause. That's bullshit. Hold this. Yeah, I don't think the boss even believes in this cause anymore. I don't know. The only thing the boss does to surround me that is mine is behind lock and key. The elemental worship thing he does. Man's a freak. No wonder the other guy left. The fuck are you talking about? We're good. What the hell is going on? How'd you do with the powder? Not bad, but not my best either. You ready for the start? The you ready to start the countdown? Good of you to ask. Here you are. Are you kidding me? It's Cheese's turn. Ugh, I can't even work a lighter. Have the new guy do it. You guys are ridiculous. It's a button, Mil Milman. You press it. I was kidding. Fine, give it to me. You know, you're all uh, rather apprehensive for revolutionaries. It's not like the whole system's on a timer or anything. Let's just make sure we're far away from this thing. Far enough away when this thing blows. I can't talk, holy shit. What is this game? Dr. Mar, I'm not going to head home for the night. You need anything from me? Fuck. Hmm. Are you doing anything, sir? I am testing synthetic proteins to use in vitamins. They're supposed to improve the immune system, but they seem to keep terminating at all my test cells. Do you need anything from me? Have you closed all of today's prescriptions? Yes, sir. Is the equipment log up to date? Yes, sir. Well, that's all I have. The Prince Hood office is supposed to be sending us a small contract tomorrow morning. They want a vitamins to give to their volunteer order guests, or some such nonsense. It brings in the money, I suppose. I guess so. I'll call your mother and let her know you're on your way. See Junior Blanc at the counter of, on the way out, please. He had something I don't remember what it was, something you needed to sign. Really? Really. <laughs> That's cute. I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. You should probably go home too, sir. Doctors don't sleep. Especially doctors who test cell membranes seem to collapse at the slightest. Dear me. This has to be a rotten batch. Main menu allows you to access important information. Cool. Oh, it's very Final Fantasy. Say equipment. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that. Personal employee storage. Codex. Alcarian physiology. The extent of changing... The extent of change when comparing the Alcarians with men is all 
of yet uncertain. The Alcaric form seems to coat the Alcarian in a second skin, however, it appears that the form is shallow at best. Experiments conducted by Von Dunian's behaviors. Okay, I don't care. I can't even read that shit. Uh, yes, sir. Sleep is just as impotent. Alright, sir. It's nice music. Hello. You need to sign up for your new badge. Again? Stuff changes, man. Well, this is just ridiculous. You should keep the paperwork straight for things like this doesn't happen. Give me that. Signed? Good. Have a wonderful evening. Good night. Why are you a dick to the front counter guy? He didn't do anything to you. It was weird. Like, chat, 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 chat. There's no secrets around here or nothing, right? All right. Um, I'm going home. I don't know what the fuck this game is. Saving your game. Step into blank to save. Um, this is fucking, uh, this is indie day. I fucking, I should play a bunch of random shit. How do I get out of here? See? There we go. What's this? Hey, Val, what's up? Not much. I thought you closed earlier than this. I've never paused. I, I never pass on an opportunity to cook up some food. Especially f to foreigners. You wouldn't believe the woman who was just here. She ate about three dozens of rabbit legs and the spiciest. Never seen anything like it. The fuck is this game? Where's my home? This is a beach. Is my house? Mom, what? What the heck is going on? Order guard. Did you call them? Oh, man. I'm not calling those fools. We need their help. Don't you dare. Mother. We're going to be dead if we wait for those guard. What? Here's what we're going to do. Pick up that table like the one behind you. Are we getting robbed right now? Is that a fucking werewolf? What the hell is going on? You want me to knock him out? Do not kill him. Um. Table. Chair leg. Here. Do I already have it? Here goes. Ah. Oh god, oh god, oh god, help me. Excuse me, hello, is this the... What? Get out! Whoever you are, you're trespassing. Leave. What? We need help. Mom! If anyone finds out about this. What are you doing? Tranquilizing. Stay still, kid. Ooh, what? Wow, that was... I don't even... I mean, you... Uh, thanks? Thanks is what I'm trying to say. What the fuck is going on? No, not thanks. Get out. This is none of your business. Why is my mom a bitch? You're welcome. Consider this your final warning. Leave or else. Or else what? You'll snap another leg off that nice table? Yeah, you're the one who has a room to issue an ultimatum. Got it. Listen, you. How about this, Bushra? You and your cursor husband... Cursor? Are going to be the order guard's business if we don't sit down and have a little chat. Fine. Just help me get him in the study, will you? That's my dad? Why is my dad a werewolf? I never got the chance to introduce myself. Angela Leyland, you guys are calling the police. Mom. Corvallis, I'll be back. We'll see how the guard handles thieves. Hey, your name's Angela. What are you? Seriously, are you for real? Let's try this again. Why, hello. Allow me to make your acquaintance, if you please. I am Lieutenant Colonel Angela Ann Leyland, and I am a field agent for the military of the Grand du Duchy of Les Lesses. Fuck these names. Do you have a proper name that you use? What do you go by? May I have this information? I like this lady. What? 
It is in my sincerest hope that we can make this greeting amicable, and I will try to be as accommodating as I can. Okay, okay. You lay it on. Rather thick, don't you? Only the people who treat me like a thief or a vandal. She did just fucking help us. Bushra Ora? This is Corvallis, my son. I thought I was a girl. Mom, did that get stuck at work? He shouldn't have... He should have been home by now. That was your dad, dude. He had to work late again. You're kidding. Look what's going on here. I came looking for Victor Aurora, and what I got was an enraged cursor whose son thinks he's still human and at work. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Can you not talk about this in front of my son? Why not? There's nothing too vulgar for a 20-year-old to hear. 20? Jesus. How'd you know it was 20? Corvallis, it is your bedtime. We will talk about this in the morning. Why does a 20-year-old have a bedtime? Oh, I see what this is. Corvallis, keep walking. Corvallis, did you know you're a cursor and that your dad's one too? Get out. Get out of this house. I'm not leaving until I talk to Victor. I'll just call the order guard myself. Oh, right. You invaded that creep Martello in an organization whose job it is to beat the living hell out of the curses for almost two decades. And now you're just going to throw all of that out because you don't like me. You're a strategist. <laughs> no, you know what? Go ahead. Walk. Get used to it. Because you're going to be walking to Cape Bulljador to petition your son for release from the Mildewid dungeon for an awful lot. Jesus, I ain't do nothing. Dungeon? Oh yeah, they treat curses just great up at the capital. You know that? Okay, okay, just quiet, alright? Now can I talk? Or are we gonna walk out on me the minute I say something you don't like? Good, Corellis. How much do you know about curses? Nothing? Uh, we went over it in homeschool a couple times. And? Curses are animals that walk on two legs. There are a lot of tribes of curses in Lessis and Vanden, but not here. The prince said that they're not allowed to get visas, since they don't know how to read, use a pen, or speak our language because of their limited brain functions. Stop. Just stop. What? Are you something bad? <sighs> no, you're fine, but your parents have a lot of explaining to do, though. How'd they keep you from transforming into your animal form? I have an animal form? So does your dad. You living, breathing, walking, talking bears. Bears! We're bears. Does this work? No. That actually explains a lot. This time, I went on a date. I'm sure it's a great anecdote. Uh, but I don't have time. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> So how do you keep him from transforming? Get Tomal? Get him all? I don't, I don't know what this is. Or do you beat it out of him? Don't insult me. Can I see his medication? Corvallis, go get your medication bottles, please. Uh, okay. Listen and listen well. I don't know who you are or why you want to ruin this family, but your meddling is unwelcome here. I'll just let you know that. Would you rather me have found you? Or the order guard? No, would you rather me have found you or the order guard? Suit yourself, I, get, I gotta get my bottles. This isn't my room. It's my little sister. His clothing is all ripped. Oh, that's my dad. What is this? What's going on? Can I fucking look through her shit? Oh, dad, I'm looking through all your stuff. Stone coals. Oh, this is just a bunch of books. They still talking? Master bedroom's not mine. No. Oh, I have the little rug. That's adorable. From 1059A, a federal collegiate aid. Um, okay. Miniature palm tree. Oh, and a snow globe. Cute. The Lab Rats Manifesto. Where the fuck are my pills? I'm sorry, Mom. I don't know where I left my shit. How the fuck? Oh, they in the bathroom. Am I stupid? Found a bottle of Gitmo. 
Do 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 do. Hey lady, I have the. Hey lady, I, do I have to give it to my mother? Yeah, handing over a bottle. Get mom. Classic Akira present. Corvallis, look, we were just trying to keep you safe. You know what this country does? How safe do you think he is? Corvallis, just go get your father some water. My patience with you is wearing thin. Why don't you go bomb the hell out of Mastrov again? What? You heard me. First of all, how about you talk to me, not the Duke? I'm the one who's here. Secondly, it isn't against the law for Lysis to defend its national interests against their prospective threat. Because merchants are very threatening. My friend's sister was killed in that attack. She certainly needed to be neutralized. I'm sorry for your loss, but I didn't give the order. If I let you ask all your prying little questions, will you leave and never come back? Alright. Get on with it. So how long? How long what? How long has Victor been hiding his transformations? Fourteen years. Really? Impressive. It's not my word for it. Yeah, well... Looks like whatever he was prescribed wore off. I don't really know why he hasn't been fired. All the signs were there. Any idiot whistleblower with the time. The upper management is apparently incompetent. Or else we'd get out of a job in a home right now. Anyways, I came here because I had a favor and I wanted to ask of your father. But he is, well, out cold. I'm not waking him up. Dad wants to talk to you. I'd like to go talk to him tonight, but tomorrow will even work. Please? Come, you've spent your worth on bluster. I will not give you convenience in return. Corvallis, it's about time for bed. I'll send your father to talk to you in the morning. You'll get more sleep than your officer friend, I'm sure. Uh, what? Shut up. Go away. But what? On current events, current events. Call us at 350619. We're happy to talk to you. Bella, you awake? I need to talk to you. I'm your host, Ruth Sutherland. What a fine morning. Just beautiful. Down here at the Cape. Boy, we've got a lot of talk about today. Been a hectic last couple of days. Sorry, it's fucking radio. Yeah, Dad, give me a minute. Let me just come in when you're ready. Yeah, um... Ah, what are you... Calm down, calm down. I'm not gonna bite your head off. Is he a bear right now? Can I sit down? Uh, sure. Why is my dad a bear? So, uh, does this mean that I'm a bear thing? Yeah. Look, can I just, like, not look at you? This is too weird. Sorry, Dad. You can do whatever you want. It doesn't change anything. Uh, so, did you talk to that lady? Yeah, your mother kept butting in. What, uh... Miss Lalo. Yeah, what'd she want? She wanted me to go fulfill an admin job in Regenst, but she needed someone who had been transforming a lot more often than I have. So I came to a conclusion. I want you to go instead. In case you've never noticed, in case you haven't noticed, I've never transformed. You might have to transform, but you're in way better shape than I am. On top of that, they won't. They won't what? They won't have some wheezing old loon sitting behind a desk asking people for the stamp form 319As. Yeah, they'll have a useless kit instead. With some training, I'm sure you'll be able to cope. And you're not useless. Give yourself some credit. How am I useful? I don't even know how to transform. I probably don't know how to do whatever it is the lady wants me to do. Well, that was the thing. Layla said you weren't trained. I said you were a clean slate. In the end, she had two options. Go back to Lessis with you or nothing? What about Mom? She shook her head the entire conversation. Didn't agree to anything. Constantly wanted Miss Layla out. She could a little granting, actually. Yeah? Picture this. All, I'm, all, I'm sore all over this point. I just want to go back to sleep, and your mother keeps going on and on about those atrocities, right? Because apparently Miss Playland is the 
amazing subjugation machine and not a bystander who just happened to be from the country where all these problems with. She just wouldn't lay off. I've never seen her so angry. What'd you tell her? I told her that she needed to start making her own decisions. This will be the first. Uh, I don't know. I have to go to work. Let me think about it. This game is fucking weird. Ah, fucking radio. Can I turn that off? No? Okay. I don't remember how to save. Assurance booklet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Victor. Morning, Corvallis. Off to work? I'm running late. Did you talk to your dad? If you don't want to go, you don't have to. I know. Yeah, we can go anyways. How's it coming? Uh, the market taking less time than I thought it would. Good to hear. I was able to give Dr. Rose the outgoing parcel for this afternoon. Uh, sir? What is it? Can we talk? Uh, talk somewhere else? Whatever you need, Junior. Well, what seems to be the issue? I really need to tell you this because I feel like you're the only person I can come to. I need you to promise not to tell anybody, including the order guard. Please, sir. Order guard? Good grief. I told you not to take two. Two it once a day with a meal. Why don't you just throw them in the trash? Meet me in the office. We'll figure it out. Well, this is a rather large chunk of circumstance I don't want to deal with. Thanks. Sorry, I'm not sure what I was expecting. You're rather overdue for this talk, I suppose. Do you know about everything? Even the suppressant? Yeah. I described you both Gitmol C to inhibit your acrylic form. I'm going to say acrylic, because that's what it looks like to me, and that's funny. Um, it was a necessary step to disguise you. Disguise me. Ugh. My head's all messed up right now. I'm wicked dizzy, so I feel like I'm crooked. I might actually be crooked, but just in case I look off, I just almost fucking fell out of my chair. Excuse me. <laughs> Dr. Meyer, what's wrong with me? Uh, there's something wrong with me. My parents haven't explained what, but I don't know. Just, can you give me an answer? Did your parents tell you that you're a cursor? Yeah. Well, we're at least that far then. A cursor is a kind of mammalian shapeshifter with an animal and a human form. A human frame, human cogn cognition, and human emotion. Cursors can shift between the human form and their acrylic form at will most of the time. I love that I'm saying acrylic. It's funny for me. How long can something ex how can something like that even exist? As much as I like to indulge an invitation to pontificate, especially about the cursor physiolo physiology, all my time will be spent ex explaining to medical ministry why I haven't decided to put you on a paid administrative leave. Excuse me? The paid leave is to arrange your exodus to Zildrin. Zildalin? Something you'll need to do likely sooner than later. You may or may not have noticed, but it's not really safe for curses here. Leave Zaldrin. Where would I go? Well, as long as you have a decent job, I'm sure you can find somewhere in Leslis that'll be happy to have you. Actually, I got invited to travel with Leslie and military officer. Military? I don't like the sound of that. Hey, what my dad went into whatever it is. Gigantus? Yeah, that. Uh, whatever that is happened. She was the one who stepped in and saved us. Are you partial to that idea? Well, yeah, I don't like fearing for my life. Plus, I'm 20. And I still live with my parents. I will advise you, then. She will do things that you find questionable, and she will find any means necessary to violate any sort of moral comfort you have. You don't even know her. Neither do you. In any event, since you are going to be traveling with a certified killing machine, you're going to need some kind of self-defense weapon. Give me a moment. Hell yeah! Give me your gun! Give me your gun! Okay, this is a bar taser. 
with wire hooks in here and here. You turn it and use this one. You could swing it like a sword. It's a really old weapon. To protesting days, it delivers a momentary non-lethal electric charge to anything it touches. I have never needed to kill with it, so I modified the circuit to almost immediately. You never needed to kill with it. Never. Soldiers, mercenaries, paid killers, they're garbage. Don't be like them. There are other ways to solve your problems. Will this really be enough for self-defense? No, certainly. Hide it in your jacket on the way back, though. You don't want trouble. So what happens now? Your parents know that better... Your parents know that better than I would. I'd have a talk with them. Good luck. Can I save? You got everything, son? I hope so. Let's see. Did you get your final paycheck from Joseph? Oh, snap! <laughs> what? Nothing. You might want to pack up. Pack that up before you leave town. Yeah. Make sure you stay undercover until you reach the border. It shouldn't be too difficult. Miss Leland can help you. Can you help him if he transforms? Absolutely. I can't really bear to see what's going to happen. The order guard caught you. Let him try. Let him try. Yeah, but I'll take this. Victor's key and a crescent talisman. Cool. A key and a necklace. Is this an emerald in the necklace? Yeah, I used to wear this thing all the time. I thought you should have it. You know, big journey and all. It's dangerous out there. Take this. Are you sure you don't want to keep it? It looks expensive. Nah. The key, what's it go to? I don't remember anymore. I just kept it. I got a unique design and I like it. So don't lose it, okay? I won't. Make sure you spend that money wisely. I will. Are we about ready to go, Corvallis? Yes, ma'am. You know what's coming. Be safe. Aw, oh, hugs. Thank you too for all your help. Oh, it's no problem, Miss Leyland. We're always open if you need a place to stay. Corvallis, make sure you come back and visit once in a while. Definitely. Love you. Sparkles. Sorry. Can we save? I'm sorry, this is going a little bit longer than I wanted. Angela joined the party. Her name's Angela. Talk to people standing around town. Give you useful information and insight. Alright, we're going to leave this episode here. Um, we just came back and saved. When we come back, we're going to continue our adventure in werewolf territory. Or we're actually bears. Something like that. I don't know. This game is weird. Have a good one, guys.